Hi, in this video I'm going to talk to you about building your page content. So here we've got a page for Miss Pink Wildflowers and the first thing I'm going to talk to you about the page content is headings. Now headings are really important for um, accessibility and screen readers use um, headings to identify the content on, of the page and the importance of the content on the on the page through the hierarchy of headings. So let's look here. On this page, Miss Pink's Wildflowers, that is heading one. Okay, so it's like the title of a book, really. Um, so think of it like a title. The title of your website is like the title of a book. Heading two, Early Life and Art Education, that's it. It's the web page heading, so that's the individual page. So heading two is also sketching wildflowers in South Australia. A heading two would also be botanical sketches, olive pink collection. Underneath the page title, heading two, is the um, a section title. So studying art in Hobart is the section title to this chunk of information and if you notice on the page chunks of information chunks of text are interspersed with pictures quotes just a quote here and then we come down to another subheading or section heading in the page art teaching and moving to sydney and that is also a heading three now say we had a heading here that would be a heading four under a heading three. Okay, so it's basically page headings are a hierarchy. And if we go onto the actual back end site edit, page edit page, we see it here. So the title of the page, that's heading two. This is heading three. We've got our item showcase to bake up the page. We've got uh, a quote, got another item showcase, another chunk of information, another item showcase here, and then another um, section on the page, and that's another heading three. So I hope that makes a bit of sense about headings for you. Now, if you want to find out more information, go to their web services editorial style guide and you'll find all the information you need about building content on your page. And all UTAS um, websites should be following these editorial style guides. Okay, thank you for listening. Bye.